What is up guys, Patterson Yarn, it is FIFA 17 video, so I'm back with another review here today and it is Nikolic. So he is a striker, he does play for Chicago Fire, he links up with players like Bastian Schweinsteiger and pretty much the entire Chicago Fire team. So as you can see in the squad we've got him in here, it's pretty much a basic squad with Lampard, Gerrard, we've got a random just to keep the chemistry up with the midfielders and the striker so everyone pretty much gets full chemistry i'm just trying out here see if can i can actually get candy in which i can't so i just take him out and put the players back in so as you can see his card looks very decent he's got i'll show you actually in games i've got his in game stats up but it is a review on an mls all stars player and it's probably one of the first reviews i've done in a long time so yeah, we can look at these stats. He does have 94 stamina, 94 strength. I'm going to not read all of them out. I'm just going to read the key ones out. So he's got good balance, good attacking positioning. And he's very good at kind of holding up the ball and backing into any player pretty much. And he's pretty much a basic target man for the price. So you can buy this guy for around 30 to 40k. He is a team of the season card. He is quite tall. He reminds us of pretty much a cheap Ibrahim Vich without skills. So what I would see when we get into the gameplay here, we'll look at the first opponent here. He's got a lone hazard, which is fine by me. But as you can see, you can see his positioning here at the bottom left, and you can see him just waltzing around in the box. He gets himself in a great position to put it in the back of the net. So that's what this guy will do here. I'm going to change him because of some tactics, and he rage quit straight away, giving Nikolic a good overall. So what I would say about this guy, as I said before, he's a great target man, he's great battling with his players, but he is great at this as well. Look at that run in the back lane and takes a shot across goal, which is unlucky, so it was on his weak foot. So this is another thing he's great at, holding up the ball. He's not actually holding up the ball in the conventional sense, but he's actually making space for himself. I'm going to talk about his in-game actual attribute here. So you can see there, he's so good at getting away from his man. Them one all slouches there at the back and he just made them look like an 80 overall centre back. So I did actually put Al Alessandrini in the midfield and this is why. So Gerard and Nikolic link up very well in that camp, the striker position. So you can see yeah, he comes forward for the ball, he takes a pass Pogba, he's doing a little bit of dribbling, nice ball control close to his feet, he does a nice ball across, that's what he's very good at, he's very good at holding up the ball. Looking for his players in behind, and you can see these players, Winston Reid there and Chris Small now the back. No slouches in the defence, and he just makes them look terrible. So what I would say about this guy, if you're going to get him, I would get him now, because I think his price is going to go up. This guy is ridiculous for a straight guy, you can see there, he just... This is in dealing that out tournament against good players, and you can just see the quality he actually... He just, he is a very good striker, he's not the best, but he's not the worst, he's kind of, I would say a mid-range 40k player. He gives you what you want, and he's very good on the ball, which, I think he's got 83 agility, which isn't the best, but, for a player of this caliber, he is definitely worth it for someone with a mid-range team, and wants to kind of bring it up a little bit, he is very good at that. So I did buy Pizarro as well, he is a Mexican player and he has got a lot of good stats, which I might do a review on him in the future. But he is a midfielder and it's hard I do reviews on. So I didn't actually show him scoring that goal, it was by Messi. But if you could see that back there, you could see where his attacking positioning was and it wasn't a good place to let the other players run in behind. So, when we actually show you the gameplay, You'll be able to see why I keep talking about attacking position and getting in behind. They are two key features for any target man. In my opinion, they're the best ones. You can see there, he comes up against a great player and he just puts it in the back of the net. Very good haircut, I might add. That's definitely worth another 10k and a stadium worth 10k. So he is coming up against Sergio Ramos there, as you can see. And he just, it's unbelievable how quick he is off the mark for a big man and a player like him. So I will show his goal to game at the end of the game. As well, what I realised straight away, he was always in the attack. I know you don't always get that from a striker, but he was always in there in prime positions to get your goal. Even though there he wasn't because Gerard always comes forward to get a shot. But if you look at his position again, it's definitely in the centre. He's around the pen spot. 
He drops off because he wants his players to come forward, pulling out David Luiz. So he is kind of a tactician in the striker position, which I like that again. As we can see here, again, he is in the striker position. Lovely ball over the top by Deli Ali and puts it in the back of the net. So I would really recommend this guy. I don't know why you wouldn't use him, especially in divisions and for Champions Day and Knockout. So I would say he's probably a 7 out of 10, given the target man rating. And as you can see, we'll go into his stats in a second as I'm doing this post -com. So as we're just getting into it here, you can see the team is very solid. I don't know where his stats are, but there they are. You can see 5 games, 4 goals, 3 assists. As a man who is so fast running forward without the pace, pretty much a good off the mark player like I said before. 40k for a team this season, even for SBCs he's cheap as well. So I would recommend putting the catalyst just to get his passing up a little bit. But if you want to and try and improve something else, put, his, put a hunter on him. Definitely a good player, definitely worth your time, definitely worth your coins. I did sell him back on just because I needed the coin to try out another play I was going to use for a review. But Alessandrini was decent for his price, definitely not one of those outstanding players. So he was definitely decent, but team well rounded, never lost the game, very solid. I wouldn't play a Lampard there because I don't like him in the game. But I've been passing. Hope you enjoyed this review. Hit a like button down below, and I'll see you next time.